My name is Xiaob Ming Chong, but people call me by Ming, it's easier. And originally I'm from Indonesia, and I moved here when I was 27 years old. So I've been living here for 27 years now. And I call San Francisco home for now. <laughs> and so you've, been, you've lived in San Francisco the whole 27 years? Or uh, actually, I spent my first year my very first year in Nashville, Tennessee. That, that's the place that I, I took my um, English class in Nashville, Tennessee. And I have a good friend who lives in Nashville. So, and after that, I moved to San Francisco. Okay, so the housing story. Housing story is, um, first when I moved from Nashville, to San Francisco, I was shocked. The price, everything was so expensive compared to Nashville back in 1995. So uh, I used to live um, in two bedrooms apartment in Nashville. And I paid maybe $400 for that. And uh, I shared a small swimming pool with another, a few units. But when I moved to San Francisco, it was shock. The, the price was completely different. But anyway, so I used to live on Judah and 29th. And I still remember it was a uh, two bedroom, one bath, 900 square feet. And it was only the two of us, my, myself and my fiance. But uh, right after my, before my son was born, actually my parent-in-law came and, and they lived with us. So and when my son was born, it was uh, five of us with uh, uh, 900 square feet. It was definitely too small. So even though we were not ready in, nine, in 2000, 2004, 2005, even though I was, we were not ready to buy any house, but we have to. We were forced to buy a house in 2005 because uh, five of us living in 900 square feet with two bedroom is almost like uh, there is no space for everyone. That's the reason why we have to buy the house in 2005. But uh, looking back to that time, even though we were not ready, uh, now we are grateful with the housing situation right now. So um, we still remember, in two, I still remember in 2005, uh, we paid only 5% down payment for the house. Even that time, because of our credit score was good, I would, I would say excellent. We were, uh, actually we were uh, eligible to pay zero down payment that time. So, but we didn't take the zero down payment, we paid 5%. So, and it turns out in 2008, there was a housing collapse because uh, I think the bank was a little bit too aggressive. So, yeah. So, long story so short, um, we own the house in 43rd Avenue right now for the last 17 years. Wow. And we are really grateful for that. That's another thing. We, we bought the house in 2005 and I started my first business, restaurant business in 2006, one year later. With the mortgage payment, with the new business, everything was so, so difficult. So I owned the business since 2000, 2006. And that was my first uh, restaurant. The second one, uh, I opened up in 2014. So now I have two restaurants and um, so far so good. And pandemic COVID was really big impact to my business, but now everything is almost back to normal, but still not 100% yet. It changed a lot, actually. I mean, in 2000, around 2000, the year 2000, 
uh, we were thinking to buy a house. The house was like a 400, 500,000 two bedroom in the sunset area, but we couldn't afford everything, the down payment and things like that. So finally, we, we were forced to buy a house in 2005, and we kind of uh, uh, gambled a little bit because uh, there was a good program, zero down payment, and we ended up only giving, putting a 5% down payment. So from that time to today's money, I think the property worth double. So we bought it around 775,000. Now it's becoming around 1.5, 1.6. So even during the, the housing crash in 2008, the price for San Francisco house dipped a little bit like a 15, 20% for a few months only compared to other cities in Bay Area. And after that, it just went back up like crazy. I think the highest housing prices was in uh, during COVID actually. So 2021, 2020, no, 2020, the end of 2020 and the whole year 2021 was the peak. Now it's a little bit slowing down a little bit the price, but um, still, still high for most of the people who wants to live in San Francisco. And uh, I've been doing uh, real estate almost uh, four years now. And the timing was good because um, during COVID, actually so many families, whether they are ready or not, uh, some of them, they have to buy a house because of uh, the, the place that they live in is just too small. Yeah, um, I think there is a big relationship between uh, the, the affordable housing price with the business because um, it's my clients, uh, when the price of the housing wasn't that high, even before, before COVID, I think there's, uh, they are a little bit more generous in spending. So they are not that much of a price sensitive. But now, uh, I think it's a little bit price sensitive, especially during COVID too. Yeah, so I, it just, in, in my opinion, it's just uh, so many families that they cannot afford to buy a, a house in San Francisco because the price of the house in San Francisco is just, uh, it's not affordable. And, um, and that's impact the business because uh, they, they, these families wants to save some money uh, for maybe buying a house down the road. But, but on the other hand, they are cutting their expenses in the eating out and things like that. No, it's completely different. Uh, I think actually the, the different, I can feel the different when uh, right before COVID. So I think around March before they do the, um, the stay at home policy, the beginning of COVID, Clement was kind of uh, bustling. And there are so many people on the street and um, it's so hard to find parking space. I mean, it's almost impossible on Clement Street. And that's happening, those things happen before COVID. During COVID, that's another story. And now after COVID, a um, few months or maybe a year after COVID, actually the, the street, the Richmond area, still not back to normal yet. Because I can tell around 9, uh, 8.30, 9 p.m., the, the road is already kind of quiet right now. So, yeah. No, definitely. Definitely I will choose to build more housing in San Francisco if, if it's possible. Because like you said, it's, it's a complex issue. It's not only keep building the house, but who's going to fund this money? So, yeah.
building more housing in San Francisco will be the best solution in my opinion because all the middle income family or the middle class family they can afford to live in the city because otherwise it will drive them out from the city and then and who's going to live in the city because uh, all small businesses like mine we are depends on all uh, class of family so yeah I think definitely uh, building more houses is one of the, the best solution but uh, the other qu question is is it possible to build a house in San Francisco because um, not much of uh, land and even if there is land it's going to cost so much money so I think I, I just leave this this uh, this issue to the city leaders to figure out <laughs> I think yeah housing is always 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 a, a big issue and very interesting issue because um, if you don't have enough middle class family live in the city so who's going to work in the city I, I mean I, I'm consider myself a middle class family and I, I was lucky enough to buy my house long time ago but if I have to buy the house today I'm not sure <laughs> <laughs>
uh, a house and business nearby. That's almost impossible. So um, unless if you're coming from like a rich family or upper class family with tons of money uh, backing you up, but um, from middle class family who's been working maybe 20, 30 years and then keep saving their money and trying to run a business is one thing. Because after you own a, a house in San Francisco, that means you won't have any money left, basically. And how would you run a business? So that's, uh, that's the reality. But if you're running your business first, and even if you keep saving money from your business, it, it will take you 15, 20 years before you can afford to buy a house in San Francisco. Uh, I would say more like the wealthier family who already have safe, uh, set aside some money on, on the side. So they are the one who can open the business. Even though I see the business come and go, like uh, they open for one, two years and then close down. And, and yeah, it hurts this family, but uh, it's not wiping out the whole uh, saving that they have. But still, I think uh, if I can mention one thing that uh, need to be changed for people to, uh, to start a business or have an idea to open a business in San Francisco, I think the city or the city leaders need to make sure that uh, the safe of the neighborhood, the community, the safety, I think that's the number one issue. Because um, even right now when I close the restaurant, I don't feel good about it, knowing that someone might rob me <laughs> and for small money. And yeah, I think uh, before trying to put everything else, I think they need to, to tackle the safety issue first. Because if you don't feel safe even to live in the city, why would you run a business in the city? <laughs> so I think uh, taking care of the, the safety issue first. Mm -hmm. Make sure that people feel safe and good running the business. Because uh, otherwise no one wants to run a business in San Francisco. And as you see, there's a lot of people moving out from San Francisco. And those people is not the business-minded person. It's just a regular person. And if you got so many people moving out from the city because of the safety reason. So what was the use of uh, put, building all this housing? I, I don't see any use of that. De definitely parking spot, 100%. That's number one thing that I know you don't make money from making more parking spot in like a big building but you have to because um, because um, I, I know a few families who live in San Francisco they don't want to go to a restaurant near Clement or even his valley area because they already turn off because of the parking spot and um, yeah definitely and and if you build a new housing in like a very dense community and you don't provide parking space you will make everyone get so <laughs> angry i mean they, they they will be frustrated 100 percent. so parking space please do plan parking space yeah i know this family is prefer to go down south to milbury to Burlingame to have their meal or lunch or dinner instead of going to the city just because of the parking spot yeah so definitely. So if you, I mean, it's possible, it's doable. You can just dig another story down, two or three level down, but I know it costs more money, but um, definitely parking space, that's it. I think that the young person who just graduated from college, I think that's, they, they have no clue or maybe they, they, they have 
uh, a lot of problems to generate money to buy a house in San Francisco. So, yeah, after they graduate from college, they don't know how much, how expensive is the housing in San Francisco. Yeah. So when the reality kicks in, they know, wow, I need to work another 35 years straight. And then, we <laughs> and yeah, and I, all my income has to be putting in the safe in order for me to afford the house in San Francisco. It's just, it's just crazy. So definitely the, uh, the city or maybe the state need to, uh, to help the, uh, the prospective homeowners to have their house first with a, lot, with a lot of programs. I know the city has the BMR, like a down payment assistance, but unfortunately, uh, they don't have enough of these programs. That's always the problem. I don't know where I, the, the fund goes, but um, in, my, in my opinion, it's, uh, it's always good to have all this program to grow first. Because that's the only way you can have people to live in the city. Because uh, if you cannot afford to live in the city, so you're becoming a homeless then. San Francisco in general, I love the city so much. This is, like I said at the beginning, this is my home now. It's um, that the landscape is not boring. So there is a hill, ocean, and park. So yeah, everything about San Francisco is really, really good. And especially the weather in San Francisco, it's unbelievable. I mean, you can, you can just have like a two set of uh, clothing and summer and, and winter and that's it. You don't need to prepare anything else because the weather is just perfect. And the, the, the neighborhood that I live, we like it because it's close enough to the ocean and I like uh, something cold rather than um, hot and humid. I'm from Indonesia and the weather is like uh, 90, 95 degrees and humid. So I don't miss that. So um, San Francisco is really nice and the neighborhood that I live in is uh, the people are still nice and um, still there is a lot of trees near the lake. So yeah, I, I'm grateful from uh, the place that I have right now and I, and I hope the city leaders can do something to make San Francisco uh, better. Because uh, the last five years, I would say, right beginning COVID, maybe the last four years, San Francisco, uh, unfortunately, San Francisco is going downhill with the crime and with all the, the homeless issues, the housing issues. So yeah, I just leave it to the city leaders to work on that. The petty crime, the petty crime, please don't take petty crime easily because um, the, the bank robbers and all this big crime is coming from the petty crime because if you let it slide all the time and then it's becoming like a, their uh, practice ground for, before they becoming a real threat or real problem. So let's handle all those things from the beginning is before it gets out of hand. I think that's it.